What is up guys, welcome back to another video, I'm the Twisted Jedi and today the Star Wars gods have blessed us. The Hollywood Reporter has leaked that an Obi-Wan Kenobi standalone film will be made sometime next year. Now the movie will connect Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, and Episode 4, A New Hope. Now there are a lot of unanswered questions in this time frame. So what did Obi-Wan do from Episode 3 to Episode 4? Did he just sit in a hut on Tatooine and watch over little baby Luke? Or were there any other mysterious adventures that he got up to? that we don't know about yet. This is interesting and I want to find out. I can't wait for this film. Talks with Stephen Daldry to be the director of the film are currently underway. Those of you that don't know Stephen Daldry previously directed Billy Elliot and discussions with him for the Obi-Wan standalone movie have currently been in the works. Now, what does everyone want? Everyone wants this guy. Hello there. But there's no official word on Ewan McGregor yet. However, in the past, Ewan McGregor has said that he would be happy to do an Obi-Wan standalone film. So keep your fingers crossed and may the force be with us so that Obi-Wan can return in his original form. In my opinion, Obi-Wan deserves this film. He was always a secondary character, but he was definitely one of the fan favourites. In episode 1, he was always in the shadow of Qui-Gon Jinn. Even in the Clone Wars and Revenge of the Sith, the main story followed Anakin, so Obi-Wan was always a secondary character. Even in the original trilogy, he was secondary to Luke until, you know, and he was gone. He deserves to be the main character, and that's my opinion. Obi-Wan is definitely one of my favourites because of his quirky one-liners and epic fight scenes, and unlike his movie counterpart, well, he never went rogue, turned to the dark side, got his hand cut off, I ended up with this, so, uh, tell him a no thanks. Spring, 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 spring. And killed a bunch of lightsaber swinging babies. Yeah. There's a big gap between the end of Revenge of the Sith when this happens and the start of A New Hope when we're introduced to Luke and begin his story. So it'll be interesting to see what they want to do. In terms of the Star Wars future, we do know at the end of this year we are getting Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi. If you haven't already checked out my video, go watch it. Check out the top 5 things you may have missed in The Last Jedi trailer. Moving on to next year, we do have a confirmed Han Solo standalone film and after a few issues with the directors, we do finally have it moving forward. I do think the new director will be better off and has the right direction for this film. So I'm super excited to see young Han and Chewie and the adventures that they go on together. I'm going to leave it here guys. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more Star Wars or gaming related content. I have plenty more stuff to come including more videos as well as giveaways. If you're not already following me on Twitter, follow me at The Twisted Jedi. There are plenty of giveaways going on right now. We had one winner this morning and we're going to have one more soon. Please check out all the details in my pinned tweets to get on board. Thanks again guys. I'm going to leave it here. I am The Twisted Jedi and may the force be with you.